Everyday people 247. You want t-shirts, you want graphic designs, you want art. I swear to you, top of the line t-shirts down here. Everyday people 247. Dope vibes, you understand what it is. It's dope vibes every day. And that's what EDP 247 gives you. Don't lack on your drip. Make sure you cop your merch. Shout my guy Saint Nice. Holler at him. What's going on, everybody? Shout out to y'all. We got some um, inside information. Let me get right so, so I don't have to get wrong. We got some inside information today in the Lit House, man. Uh, some pretty serious developments. Um, we're going to get into them. I spoke with somebody inside the Charlotte Hornets organization about the status of LaMelo Ball and what's going on with LaMelo Ball and some of the things you may hear may be concerning or they may be a cause for optimism. Um, none of us are doctors, but it's definitely a development. Stick around. Make sure you share the video, like the video. Y'all know what time it is. Let's do it. Lee-how. It's the morning, that's the... Wipe your eyes, little nick. You just hopped on the scene. Where you from, I ain't seen. You like blue, you bleed. Wipe your eyes, little nick. Better show your pride. Better show your stride. You with the wolf, they don't really do the crime. And this bitch down south. Getting rough about the day. Keep cussing out the house. Mama, she ain't really play. Shorty wanna break her back. Something I heard a nigga say. She ain't like the way I'm at. As I said, uh, at this hour, at this hour, we have some breaking news in the Lit House, breaking news of the Lit House. Um, I've been going back and forth on whether or not to report this because I don't I don't ever want to cause more damage that has already been done um, or, you know, put a player in a situation where he has a competitive disadvantage, but there's not going to be any way they can really hide this. So, um I feel like, you know, uh, after checking with the right channels, after speaking with the right people, I feel like it's okay if I, I break break this news here in the Lit House. Y'all have to do us a favor. Let's get to 100 likes. Let's get to 100 likes. Make sure y'all run the likes up. Share this video. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. We try hard to work on your behalf and get you the information that nobody else is getting you. Not for the sake of clout, but for the sake of knowing. The people, uh, new media has always been about the people, man, and that people deserve to know the truth. Show some love to the cash app without the um, the the old media spin. Make sure you guys show some love to the cash app. It is present on the screen right there. Show some love to the cash app. It's a lot of hard work and dedication that is going on. So please donate to the cash app. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Um, last night we all saw the game, and we saw that Lamelo Ball was injured. Uh, early in the third quarter, um, you know what some people are saying is a, is a dirty play. I don't feel like it was a dirty play. I think it was a situation where the defender was trying to slide his feet, play aggressive defense. Uh, Lamelo, you know, playing basketball, um, you know, driving to the left, ends up stepping on the guy's foot as he tries to change pace, and um, he he, he rolls his ankle. Um. For those that are not familiar with ankle sprain, for those who are not rem uh, familiar with the difference in between a low ankle sprain, high ankle sprain, and everything in between, um, a, a ankle sprain is a very weird, weird injury. It's not the most severe injury, but it but it can be lingering. Um, usually, if you have, from what I understand from my days of playing basketball. From seeing other guys play basketball, or football, or other contact sports, um, an ankle sprain, a low ankle sprain, usually keeps a guy out anywhere but from two to four weeks, normally on average. Um, you're able to get back, you're able to get back rather uh, fairly soon. And some guys really they can get back in the game that night. Um, so a low ankle sprain is the least of our worries in this particular situation. Um, some treatment, sit out a week or so, um, 
I, I wouldn't even rush him back for the the opener. You know, the Charlotte Hornets are going nowhere this year, so it does not matter. Um, a high ankle sprain, a high ankle sprain is more, more of a nuisance. A high ankle sprain is problematic, and it's problematic to say the least. A high ankle sprain can put a player in a situation where if you rush back too early, because it's usually ligament damages with the high ankle sprain, you can end up really damaging your ankle and setting yourself back months. Uh, our own Judah Baptiste told a story last night how he rolled his ankle in a similar way uh, playing soccer, and he ended up being out for nine months. I know other cases where people have had bad, severe ankle injuries, and they've been out for an extended period of times. Uh, if we're talking about the Ball family, you don't have to look any further than Leangelo Ball. Remember Leangelo Ball, he dealt with a high ankle sprain. It was not taken care of properly. It hampered him all throughout the JBA tour where eventually he ended up having to, you know, go get surgery on that ankle. So an uh, ankle sprain can be very serious in nature if uh, the proper treatment is not uh, given. Um, after LaMelo left the game, a lot of the young guys seemed to be activated. Um, James Booknight started playing at a level that we hadn't seen him play in a long time. Uh, well, since last year, uh, he seemed free, seemed like he was ready to go. He was no longer playing. Like, you know, he was just um, absolutely 100%. Yes, sir. He's ass, and you know he's ass. A lot of times up until that point in the preseason, a lot you know, we were asking the question, what is wrong with Book Night? But it seemed, seemed like as soon as LaMelo left the game, Book felt a lot more comfortable. Uh, Kai Jones came in the game, uh, game played well. Uh, Mark Williams played extremely well. Nick Richards was playing well for the entirety of the game. Jello came in and had a nice shot uh, off the dribble. Euro step uh, finished strong, you know. So, so it, it 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 was some positive things to see in the wake of Lamelo going out. Uh, the team didn't just fold. The team didn't just quit and give up. Hey man, y'all run the like something, man. Stop playing with me, bro. Stop playing with me. Stop playing. I'm not gonna get to the breaking news until y'all run the likes up. Let's get over 100 likes, man. Let's get over 100 likes, man. Share the video. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Stop my time, man. Stop my time, man. Share the video, like the video, subscribe for real. But look, um, and show some love to the Cash App. Y'all see it right there on the screen. Show some love to the Cashy Ashy app. We appreciate y'all for pulling up. We got breaking news in this hour in the Lit House. We got breaking news in this hour in the Lit House, and it's some serious news, you know. Um... But the fallout from the game was it was just this hovering because LaMelo has not looked the best this preseason. The team has looked awful. So it with everything that happened with Miles, with everything that happened with Kenny Atkinson, after a while this team starts to look a bit snake bitten. This team looks a bit snake bitten and it it it, it, it looks a bit I don't want to say curse, but it just it looks like anything that can go wrong. Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. So I was interested to hear Coach Steve Clifford's comments. Um, as soon as the game ended, I started hitting up all my contacts. I started hitting up all my contacts because I wanted to know the detail of what was going on with LaMelo. Because one thing that was telling, LaMelo Ball is a tough guy. He's a tough guy, man. I, I, I know we look at him as a kid. Sometimes we look at him with this joyous, um, exuberant, uh, vibrant, uh, kid-like personality. You know what I'm saying? A child-like personality that just, just loves the joy of life and basketball, right? But I've seen this guy in his first three years take some horrible falls and spills and, and hit his elbow and rolled his ankle. And, 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 he, and he's always come back in the game. Now, this was preseason, but when I saw him not struggling to play, I said, oh, that was a cause for concern. 
because the level of competitor that LaMelo is. Make no mistake about it. Stop. Forget all the critiques about him in this, this offseason and this preseason and what we saw. The dude is a competitor. He's an absolute competitor. So I, 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 I think... I think that was the first early indication that something may be more serious than I initially thought. Um, I texted around, made some calls, and before I get to what I found out, I want to talk about Steve Clifford's post-game press conference. Y'all run the likes up, share the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, show some love to the Cash App. If we don't get the likes up, I'm shutting down the studio, and yes... Believe me, I could still shut down the studio. Respect the channel, respect the vibe, respect the tribe. Go subscribe to my brother Barsh in the Blue Flame. Go subscribe to Twin Self Made Sicario. Go subscribe to Unoriginal FC, Vegas Baby KJ, and my brother Malik Salon. They're all a part of Lit House and New Media. Shout out to the Honorable Lit House New Media Gang, the entire family. Yo, become a member today so you can sit courtside with me. And we got the Lit House single dropping next week. And raindrops featuring me and brother Bartrand following up right after that. Show some love to the cash she asked you, man. It's a situation where in the post-game press conference, Steve Clifford didn't really do anything to quell those concerns. He made something, uh, he made a statement to the effect of, um, let's keep our fingers crossed on the mellow that is nothing serious. You know, and I was like, mm. What you would like to hear in that situation is, oh, uh, he, he just rolled his ankle. He'll be okay. He'll be okay. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that let's keep our fingers crossed, that leads me to believe that they think it might be possibly some ligament damage and that he was going to get an MRI. He's probably getting an MRI uh, either late last night or he's getting one early this morning. And if it's ligament damage, it's going to be six you got to be cautious with an injury like that. It's going to be six to eight weeks at the earliest. You might see a situation where, depending on how this team starts off, well, LaMelo, you, we'll just see. But depending on how this season starts off, I wouldn't expect to see much LaMelo if this team is bad. Not long term. If it's ligament damage. Run the likes up. We need to get to 100 likes. I'm about to break this news. So after watching Coach Steve Clifford's interview, and shout out to Terry Rozier, man. As critical as we are of Terry Rozier, Terry Rozier is the first guy since LaMelo Ball has been drafted in Charlotte, North Carolina, to say out of his own mouth that LaMelo Ball is the franchise. He is the first one. I got to get this dude a round of applause, man. As critical as we've been of Terry Rozier, Gordon didn't say it, Miles didn't say it, Mitch didn't say it, we, we know Tito Jeffrey Jordan didn't say it, no one said it, Borrego didn't say it, Clifford didn't say it, Terry Rozier was the first one to say last night when talking about LaMelo's injury that LaMelo is the franchise, he said he is the guy. So as critical as we've been of Terry, we got to give dudes flowers when they say and do the right things. And that takes a lot for a guy like Terry Rozier that felt like he was better than Kyrie Irving in Boston and he should be starting in Boston to humble himself enough to get to this point and say what he said. I give kudos to guys when they say and do the right thing. So shout out to Terry Rozier on that. That took a lot, man. That took a lot. That shows me a lot of growth, Terry. It really does. And that's, that's leadership. That's the way you lead. You don't always have to lead from the front. Sometimes you can lead from the back or in the position you're in. So shout out to Terry Rozier. Terry was saying he didn't expect LaMelo to, to, to miss long-term time because he just knows how much of a competitor LaMelo is. The news and the information that I got, y'all show some love to the cash app. The news and the information that I received last night The news and information that I received last night. We'll get to it. I don't like what the likes at. We'll, we'll, we'll get to it in a minute. We'll, 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 we will get to it in a minute. We'll get to it in a minute. But I, I don't like what the likes are right now. 
So I'll be back right after this quick message from the Louds. Yo, you already know it's the fucking lit house, fam. It's the fucking lit house, man. It's the first fucking rule of the blood clot lit house, eh? Can't talk about the lit house, you see it? Tell any pussy boy need to move over. Because the big dogs, them, are come true. Well, heap of big dogs upon my side. And a pussy all on my side, you see it? Big up the man, them. New media. We always dip on a new scheme. Just want to count up the green. Duppy you know if you're frightened and them can't frighten we. What is the lit house? You don't talk about the fucking lit house. today become a millhouse member today we're going to be doing all kind of things we, you can sit courtside but rather that's not the only thing we're going to have special videos that we're going to be moving to the secret area also we'll be having gatherings and meetups vacations and things of that nature we'll be going traveling doing the things that we do going to different city going to games going to festivals all kind of things the little house is a movement it's a wave it's an environment it's a lifestyle so make sure you become a member of the little house we're trying to do something very, very special, and you're going to be the ones to help us do it. It's for the people, by the people, and as always, you better know we the people. So become a member of the Lit House today. The Discord is cracking right now. A lot of people are in there. Make sure you get in before we seal the Discord off. Also, you're not going to want to miss the things that we're doing during this regular season and some of the places that we're going to be going. You're going to want to have an opportunity to rock with the Lit House to these places, get into the places that we're going to, be a part of the festivals that we go through, go to, and all, and, and all of the things that we're doing. But you have to, it starts with becoming a member. Make sure you become a member of the Lit House. And once you become a member of the Lit House, don't just be satisfied of being in the Lit House you know, get into one of the upper rooms. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 do something for yourself to build your own brand within the lit house, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a very special movement, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Y'all, make sure y'all get those likes up because I want to break this news. I want to break this news. Enough of it. I'm ready to break this news. <sighs> so after the game, I get on the phone. I text people. And I start asking questions, people that work for the organization, people that know some of the players, people that are very close to some of the players. And I'm trying to get information on the Melo situation. And the breaking news I can report right now at this hour in the Lit House is that LaMelo Ball left the arena last night in a walking boot and a walking scooter. Um, you do not have to be a doctor to know. In most cases, when that happens, that is an indication of at least a high ankle sprain. That doesn't mean that the person's leg is broke. That doesn't mean that the person has a torn ACL. Normally, that means that the person has a high ankle sprain. Um, like I said, a high ankle sprain could be very, very tricky. It could be very, very tricky. Um... You definitely don't want to rush back from a high ankle uh, sprain. And with a team that is as is, is horrible as this team is, there's no need to rush back. There's nothing to prove. 
And I just think I know LaMelo is a competitor. I know Jermaine Jackson is a competitor. I know those guys desire to be great. Um, I, I know Jermaine wants to put LaMelo in the best situation possible. And I know LaMelo wants to compete. He wants to compete because he's a competitor. But if it's a high ankle sprain and you're, you're fighting for the 11 or 12 seed, then it might just be best to fall back. I can report that a source within the organization informed me around 11.30 p.m. last night that LaMelo Ball left the arena. He exited the arena in a walking boot and a walking scooter. A walking boot and a walking scooter. That can mean a whole host of things. My mind directly points towards a high ankle sprain. It directly points towards a high ankle sprain, which is a bit of a concern for me. Um, in rare cases, it can be an Achilles. In rare cases. In some cases, leaving, leaving the arena in a walking boot and a walking scooter in that way can be an Achilles. <coughs> but is it a, excuse me. Is it an Achilles, and alhamdulillah, is it an Achilles rupture or an Achilles tear if it is an Achilles? All of this stuff matters. We just have to let the doctors do their job, and LaMelo Ball and company have to be uh, patient, and they have to utilize this time. Um, instead of looking at this as a negative, I look at this as an extreme positive. Um, it gives LaMelo some time off. It gives him a chance to work on his upper body once he does return. It gives him a chance to study the way the defenses are covering him now because defenses have definitely made an adjustment. They're throwing longer defenders. They're throwing better defenders at LaMelo. They're not allowing him to shoot the three anymore. Um, they're, they're forcing him to drive more because they're playing the percentages. His, his finishing percentages are below average, so they're playing him to the drive versus playing him for the three. So now, LaMelo gets to take time out, no matter how much time it is, he gets to take time out, get on that tablet, go through each game and see how they're defending him. And him and his team, him and Jermaine Jackson, are charged with coming up and, and, you know, and some of the coaches from the Charlotte Hornet coming up, Charlotte Hornets, coming up with a counter to what defenses are doing to him. Because right now, he didn't look like gangbusters uh, last night. He hasn't looked like an all-star during preseason. And it's preseason. That's fine. That's why preseason is there, to get in game shape, to get mentally prepared for the season, to see how defenses are going to uh, potentially be covering you through the season. So now this gives him a chance to do some more film study, to get his body together. I'm talking about his upper body, get more strength in his core. Don't come back until he's absolutely ready. If, if I had him my way, LaMelo would sit out this entire season. I'm being dead serious. If I had it my way, because the way his body looks, how bad this team is going to be, how poorly I'm projecting them to perform, this is a year that you take a year off, LaMelo. LaMelo's been playing basketball his entire life, literally. He has never had a full year off to rest his body and let his body heal. For me, I am calling for LaMelo to sit out this entire year, focus on getting stronger, focusing, focus on sharpening his tools, focus on focusing on what teams are going to do to guard him going forward, and working on counter moves the entire season. Working on counter moves, working on developing spots, knowing where he's hot, knowing where he's cold, knowing what his go-to moves are, studying everything that works well from him, for him, and strengthening that and, and, and creating counters to that to stuttering what does studying what doesn't work well for him and strengthening that and making counters to that. You know what I'm saying? That's the most important thing for the mellow ball right now. I think rest, I think it's mental reps, I think it's study and respecting the game. That is the most important thing for the mellow ball right now.
The most important thing for him right now is not rushing back for opening night, rushing back for this reason or that reason, rushing back because of rankings, rushing back because the team needs him, rushing back because if you rush back and it's a high ankle sprain and you have ligament damage and you come back as soon as it heals and you guys are trash, you're going to be right back in the same situation at the end of the year. You're going to be right back in a horrible spot at the end of the year or at some point during the season. And that's just not good enough. That's not good enough. Why waste your body and risk further damaging your career for this team? That's headed nowhere fast. Why? It makes no sense. Mitch Kupchak and Tito Jeffrey Jordan did not do their job. Or Mitch just did just enough, right? Well, it's not LaMelo's job to be the savior of this franchise. Not if they're not going to give him the tools that he needs to be successful. LaMelo has to start looking out for himself now. LaMelo has to start looking out for himself. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Like the video. Subscribe. Thank you all for pulling up in the house of the lit. Show some love to the cash app. You are truly appreciated. Once again, breaking news in this hour in the house of the lit. LaMelo Ball left the arena, was seen leaving the arena last night by someone within the organization, 100% no cap, in a walking boot and a walking scooter. So this is very serious. Uh, I mean, it went from being a situation of a, uh, an ankle sprain to a situation that is potentially serious. Y'all stay tuned today. I'll have Coach Steve Clifford's uh, post-practice comments today. You know what I'm saying? If they practice, they might take the day off. But y'all stay tuned. I'm going to have that information avail available for you as soon as it drops. But breaking news here in the Lit House, LaMelo Ball left the arena last night for certain in a walking boot and a walking scooter, which is normally an indication of a high ankle sprain that is normally anywhere between six weeks to nine weeks recovery. Some people say six, I mean four to six, but really from what I've seen is six to nine weeks. Y'all make sure y'all run the likes up, share the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We appreciate you for pulling up in the house of the lit. This is the morning after show. This is the morning after show. Y'all let us know what y'all think in the comment section. What do y'all think after this video? What do y'all think? Should LaMelo rush back and try to save the season? Or should he focus on building his bag, uh, perfecting his craft, working on his game and getting mental reps and getting stronger and coming back next season? Should he rush back to be a lottery team? Or should he step, should he, should he, um, should he take some time off for the first time in his career, get fully healthy, get his man body, start working out, uh, seeing things that people are trying to do to him and creating counters. Y'all let me know. Share the video, like the video, subscribe. I appreciate y'all for pulling up in the house of the lit once again. Breaking news here in the lit house. LaMelo Ball, LaMelo Ball, LaMelo Ball is, uh, he, he left the arena in a walking boot and a walking shoe. I mean, a walking scooter. That's the breaking news at this hour here in the lit house. We appreciate y'all for pulling up y'all comments. Should LaMelo sit out or should he come back? Subscribe to the channel. We appreciate you. You're now set a lit. Thank you so much. Y'all run the likes up, share the video, like the video, subscribe. It's the morning after. You just stopped on the scene Where you from I ain't seen You like blue, you bleed Wipe your eyes, little nigga Better show your pride Better show your stride You with the wolf, they don't really do the crime And this bitch down south Getting rough about a day Keep cussing out the house Mama, she ain't really play Shorty wanna break her back Something I heard a nigga say She ain't like the way I'm at Gotta get it different way Yo, you already know it's the fucking lit house, fam. It's the fucking lit house, man. It's the first fucking rule of the blood clot lit house, eh? Can't talk about the lit house, you zit. Tell any pussy boy need to move over.
Because the big dogs, them are come true. All heap of big dogs upon my side. And a pussy all on my side, is it? Big up the man, them. New media. We always dip on a new scheme. Just want to count up the green. Duppy you know for frightening and them can't frighten we. What is the lit house? You don't talk about a fucking lit house. Yeah. 